Since childhood, I've been mesmerized by the Nair Tamid, the permanently lit ritual lamp in every synagogue that hangs in front of the Holy Ark or the Aron. Right after Friday night services, when everyone congregates in the social hall, I often slip back into the sanctuary and sit in the front row for a few minutes of contemplation. That quiet sanctuary is a place of clarity. In this week's Sedra Tzav, we have the command that explains the Ner Tamid, quote, the fire on the altar shall be kept burning, not to go out. Every morning, the Kohen, the priest shall feed wood to it, lay out the burnt offering on it and turn into smoke, the fat parts of the offering of well-being. A perpetual fire, an H Tamid, shall be kept burning on the altar, not to go out. Rashi writes that one who extinguishes its flame transgresses not one, but two commandments, that the fire of the altar remain lit and that it also never be extinguished. Rabbi Avraham Ibn Ezra explains the repetition differently. The flame must remain lit during the day. When you cannot see it, you should know that a flame is always burning. According to the Talmud, the eternal flame on the altar was used to light the menorah. One light creates more light. When wine libations were offered, a Talmud scholar warned that the liquid would put out the flame, and he cites our verse. The novel conclusion is itself telling. Extinguishing in a partial manner is not called extinguishing. A sprinkle or trickle of wine is unlikely to put out the fire, even if the flames are temporarily diminished. Our light may become temporarily dimmed by circumstance, but we must maintain the still small flame watched over and protected so that it will never go out. Moshe as a leader was like a candle who provided the flame for other candles, states the Midrash Rabbah. The world can be a dark, dark place. How would your life be different if you saw yourself as a walking near Tamid, a small flame that remained lit?